Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. Welcome to Twin Flame Guidance, where I guide you on a twin flame topic. And today's topic is 10 signs your divine masculine twin flame is not ready for a reunion. A long time ago, back in 2019, I produced a video called 10 signs your DM is ready for a reunion. But it's been several years and I would like to go ahead and do the 10 signs of your DM is not ready for a reunion. Why do I think this is important, Twin Flame? I think this is important because many of you are entering back into contact with your Divine Masculine Twin Flame after some time, or maybe you've been in an on again, off again, Twin Flame relationship. And sometimes you think, here it is, he's ready. He's ready this time. This is it. We're coming into reunion. I just know it. His communications are different. Everything is different. This is happening. And then lo and behold, nothing happens. Nothing occurs. Nothing happens. So I would like to go through these 10 signs with you so you can really truly see if your Divine Masculine Twin Flame is still not ready for 3D physical reunion. Now, number one is he's still running. Now, this may seem so obvious. You're like, what do you mean? Duh, of course, Michelle. If my Divine Masculine Twin Flame is still running, of course he's not ready. Why is this even a sign? Here is why it is a sign, dear Divine Feminine, I have been there. I've been guilty of this. Believe me, I've been guilty of it more than once. And if I've been guilty of it more than once, then I, it's likely that you too have been guilty of this more than once. So let's just paint the picture. Let's paint the scenario. So it's been a while since your divine masculine twin flame has reached out to you and you begin wondering, well, what if my Divine Masculine is waiting for me to reach out to him? What if my DM is just really shy and unsure of himself? What if he thinks that I'm no longer interested in him? It's all these what if scenarios in your mind where you begin to talk yourself into the notion that all your divine masculine needs is a little nudge from you. All your divine masculine needs is just a little text message, just a little hello, just a little love in the 3D. And once your divine masculine has that little nudge, that little love, that little text in the 3D, then I'm, he's sure to come back to you because he was just waiting around twiddling his thumbs and waiting for you to come back to him. And so we get this notion in our minds as divine feminines is like, you know, it's been six months or eight months or a year. And you know what? My divine masculine probably just thinks that I've moved on. And so I'm just going to appear in his life in some way, shape or form to show him that I'm still here. I'm still interested. I still want to be with him. And rest assured, what typically happens is you conjure up the courage to reach out to your DM in some way, shape or form. And then there's no response. He doesn't respond to you. He's still running. In other words, he's still running. Now, I know I've done this at several reprises throughout the last four years and some change, and I can't even believe I'm saying that. It seems like so long, but it's gone by very quickly. Where I got into this mindset, and I even felt like, oh my God, the angels are reaching out to me, and they're telling me I should reach out to my Divine Masculine. 
you get into this mindset. And so I've done this where I was like, well, you know, it's been six months. I haven't heard from him. I'm just going to reach out to him. And while my divine masculine had tended to sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes take the bait, in other words, respond to me, it fizzled out very shortly thereafter. It was sort of like a, hey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? And that was it. There was nothing else going on there. And the reason was because my divine masculine twin flame was still running. And so since he was still running, he clearly wasn't ready. And even if I reached out to him, then it wasn't going to amount to much just because he was still running. Number two, his actions don't match his words. Okay, twin flame, here's the deal. Your divine masculine may reach out to you and say, I miss you. I miss the times we've had. I'm reminiscing about the times we've had. It would be really great to see you. It would be really great to catch up with you. But then you wait with bated breath. You wait, you're like, oh my gosh, my DM misses me. And you wait and you wait <laughs> and you're like, all right, my DM just said he misses me. He just said he's reminiscing about the time we spent together. He just said that he would like to see me to catch up. But where's the invitation? There's no invitation. And then, Divine Feminine, you get caught up in this, right? Because it's exciting. It's really exciting to hear your Divine Masculine say to you, I miss you. I want to see you. I've been reminiscing about those times together. I miss those times, but nada. So then you think like, okay, I'm going to suggest, hey, I'm free on this date or this date. Would you like to grab some coffee? And your DM says something like, okay, I'm going to check my schedule or those times aren't good or yeah, let's do it. Right. But the actions never follow through with his words. So be careful. It doesn't really matter what your divine masculine is saying to you verbally, either verbally over the phone, verbally out loud, or even through text messaging or emailing. It really doesn't matter if his words are not following up through action. So just look for those actions. And if your divine masculine is saying something to you and then following up with an action, then you know that this is moving along better. But if your divine masculine is being all talk and no action, rest assured, he's not ready for 3D reunion. Number three, he checks in once a month or once every few months. My divine masculine twin flame has done this consistently for the last several years. When I say checks in, it's usually you get a ping from your divine masculine. You get a text message from your divine masculine. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Hey, what have you been up to? And then you're so excited because you're like, oh my gosh, this is it. My DM is finally reaching out to me. And then you engage in the conversation with your divine masculine, but it never goes beyond trivialities. It never goes beyond trivial conversations of what you were doing in the day to day. So it never really moves on. It's almost like a false start, right? It's like a false start where DM is just checking in on you to see how you're doing but he doesn't have the maturity, the courage, the fortitude to carry through with the conversation. It's just a ping. It's just a, hey, how's it going? In other words, your DM is telling you, I'm still thinking about you, but clearly if the conversation fizzles out and it's really just focused on the day-to-day -day and it's like trivial stuff, then chances are your DM is not ready for 3D reunion. Number four, he doesn't answer your texts. Oh my God, this is so incredibly frustrating. For example, you may have been in a texting conversation with your DM and he asked you a question and you responded to that question. Well, if he is not ready, he's not gonna pursue it. He's not gonna pursue it with a deeper conversation 
He's not going to pursue it with another text. He got his answer. You're still there. <laughs> And if you ask him anything else, he's just going to let the conversation die out. And you can also reach out to him, for example, if you're checking in with him. But this is typically what has happened with me in my DM. If I reach out to him to check in with him, if there's been some time, he won't respond. But if he reaches out to me to check in with me after some time, hey, I'm a mature person, I'm going to respond. And there's just not that reciprocity. There's just no longer that reciprocity of give and take. And there's no longer the reciprocity of like him really answering, responding, being attentive, being timely, or including you in his day-to-day -day life. And what that means is he's conscientious of you of your time. He's conscientious of the fact that you're an important person in his life and he's going to therefore respond, reach out, respond to your texts, whether they are solicited or unsolicited. But if he's just leaving you hanging on your texts, then he's clearly not ready for 3D reunion. Number five, he avoids the deeper questions. Have you been in this situation, Divine Feminine? I know I have, where I've gotten to the point where I'm really sick of the trivialities. I'm really sick of the, hey, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm really, really sick of it. And I'd like to dig deeper and go into deeper issues, deeper personal feelings. I'd like to go into depth about our relationship, our friendship, and go just a little deeper than the trivialities. And my divine masculine avoids these deeper realities like the plague. And I know I've had clients who've said the same thing, is that as long as they keep it light and fluffy, DM's okay with light and fluffy. But as soon as they want to know about feelings, digging deeper, what is the meaning of this connection? What is the meaning of our relationship? Any of that. DM runs for the hills. He totally runs for the hills. He ghosts you. He doesn't want to talk to you. He might have a lag in time of response. And even if he elects to have a lag in time of response, when he does reach out to you again, he will not address those deeper questions at all. It'll be as if those deeper questions have never existed. He'll act as if He's never read that text or heard that voicemail or read that email. Never ever in his whole life. Like those just vanished into thin air. And it's so incredibly frustrating. Isn't it divine feminine when DM is like, you never asked me that. What? what are you talking about? How's the weather today? And then you know your DM is totally not ready for 3D reunion. Number six, when you reveal your feelings to him, he goes to you. You reveal the depths of your heart, the deepest, most profound feelings that you're having for your divine masculine, how you feel inside, how he makes you feel, the intimacy of this connection, telepathy, all of it. When you reveal your feelings to your DM and he is not ready, he will ghost you. He will literally turn it off. He will turn it off and he will run away and he will not respond and he will not reciprocate. Oh my gosh, this has happened so many times to me when I've revealed my feelings for my DM. He just did not respond. He ran. And I knew that if I was going to reveal my heart's contents to him, that I wasn't going to speak to him for another six months to a year because he wasn't ready. It's not because he's a jerk. It's not because he's a horrible person. It's just, he was, he's not ready to receive that. He's not ready to receive my feelings. He's not ready to acknowledge his own feelings. And therefore he's not ready to receive my feelings. And just know that it's about him not being ready to receive it. He's kind of like given the gift back to you. And that's how you know he's not ready for 3D physical reunion. Number seven, this is huge, guys. My DM is an expert at this. 
Let's see if your DM is an expert at this. My DM lives by his excuses. So number seven is DM is living by his excuses. Oh my gosh, this is probably out of the 10, the most irritating one for me. I'm too busy. I'm too poor. My family needs me. I got a phone call. Somebody needs me here. I'm shopping with my mom. I've got a family event tonight. I'm with my family. I'm with my friends. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. My DM lives by his excuses more than any other person I know on this planet. As soon as we get into something deep, we have a deep conversation, we have a good connection, and I ask for more, he comes up with an excuse. Now, these excuses have changed over the years. First, it was like, well, we work together, so this can't happen. And then later it became so many other excuses. And if your DM is still living by his excuses, then he is so not ready. So not ready. Here's the reason. The reason is you can come up with a billion excuses if you don't want to do something. It's not the excuse that's the reason. It's just something that they say to you. Because if there is a will, there is a way. And if you want something, you can make it happen. But if you don't want something, there are an endless litany of excuses that you or anybody else could always come up with. And your DM is no different. So if your DM is living by his excuses, then he's clearly not ready for 3D physical reunion. Number eight, after a romantic visit, he friend zones you. This has happened to me so many times. And this has happened to so many twin flames I know. So many twin flames I've coached. Does this sound like you? Has this happened to you, twin flame? You were having a wonderful, marvelous, amazing, intimate time with your divine masculine. You felt so close physically, emotionally, spiritually. And when you were together, wow, amazing. But a day later, two days later, your DM contacted you and said, I think we should just be friends. This is insane. But this is a form of running. Okay, this is a form of your DM running from the feelings, running from the intensity, and running from the connection. I have heard this more times than not of Divine Masculine Twin Flame friend zoning their twin flame. This has happened in, I would say, 90% of all the twin flames I've ever coached, where DM draws them near for the connection not only for romance, but just to spend time together or to become closer, only to have them friend zoned right after. So it is a crazy phenomenon and I've never heard this phenomenon in any other romantic connection other than a twin flame. Number nine, he makes plans to see you and then cancels at the last minute. This has happened to me many times. This has happened to many other thousands of twin flames many times where DM finally gets up the courage to ask you out to say, let's meet or I'm going to come over your house. And then an hour before, two hours before, half a day before your DM cancels the plans. TBD to be determined. It's not like he cancels the plans and said, I'm coming two hours later. It's not like he cancels the plans and says, let's reschedule. It's like he cancels the plans and then vanishes. If your DM has done this to you and continues to do this to you, then you need to A, set a boundary. So you're like, this isn't happening anymore. But B, your DM is not ready for 3D physical reunion. Number 10, which is so crazy. And it's a little bit ethereal, and I believe only a twin flame can understand this. So if you're not a twin flame, you're going to have a really, really hard time understanding this. Here's number 10. 
Your Dion puts up major walls and barriers and boundaries in the 3D physical world with you. So maybe friend zones you and says, hey, don't call me or I'll reach out to you. He puts up major walls and barriers and boundaries with you in the 3D physical world. But in the 5D world and the spiritual connection you have together, he is sending you sexual energy, sensual energy. He's talking to you in the 5D. He's sending you telepathic messages of the contrary. And this leads to the confusion that most divine feminines have when it comes to their divine masculine, because they're like, what the heck is happening? My DM put up all these walls, all these boundaries with me, but in the 5D, he's sending me all the sexual energy, all this like telepathy and all these messages. But if he is incongruent, meaning he's not matching the two worlds, he's not matching the 3D world with the 5D world, then your DM is not ready for 3D physical reunion. So I hope this was helpful, Twin Flame. Do put it in the comment section below. If you've experienced one or all 10 of these things from your Divine Masculine Twin Flame, Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thanks so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or a meditation course. You can also join my group coaching. The links are all below. And I will see you in the next video.